Well, it wasn't pretty and certainly took a lot longer than it should have, but the Kings finally got their first win of the season on Saturday against the Heat. There's a lot of different things that you could take away from this game, but what stuck out the most to me was the play of De'Aaron Fox. A common phrase in baseball is that what separates the aces from the rest of the bunch are the nights where you don't have it. Players are human, they aren't going to have their best stuff every night, that's just the nature of things. But how are you going to be effective and put your team in position to win on those nights where you don't have the command of your fastball? And I thought Fox's game on Saturday personified the basketball version of this. He didn't take over the game with his scoring like he usually does, he had just 17 points on 6 of 17 shooting. But it was his defense, his rebounding, and overall control of the game that led the Kings to their first win of the year. With Rashawn offering help on Jimmy Butler's drive, Fox is zoning up here playing two guys. When Butler swings it to Vincent, just watch how disciplined Fox's closeout is. He stays low and anticipates the drive, beating Vincent to the spot. Even taking an armbar to the chest, he never loses any ground and stays with him for the contest. When he gets switched on to Butler here, he again invites the contact and physicality. Though the Kings get called for a foul, you have to admire his tenacity to be aggressive and make Jimmy uncomfortable. He's always had the tools to excel at the point of attack, and now we're seeing the results. When Hero rejects the screen, this theoretically should generate an advantage for him with Fox already engaged in Bam's screen. But Fox manages to accelerate from behind, and is already back in front of Hero by the time that he reaches the free throw line. Fox's most notable defense at the point of attack came when defending Tyler Hero down the stretch. Hero killed the Kings all night, but De'Aaron stepped up to the table when it mattered most. Though Tyler would win the first battle of the fourth quarter despite a good contest from Fox, De'Aaron responded with multiple big time stops later in the game. After a switch and then an instant pill afterwards, Fox hounds Tyler from just about every direction, ultimately getting a block from behind. But when Hero gets his own rebound, Fox keeps his activity level up. And with Fox all over him, Hero tries to create space with his step back and using his arm, but De'Aaron sells the contact and draws the foul. Fox finds himself on Hero again the next possession in the same corner. You have another great closeout where De'Aaron anticipates to drive left, and Hero resorts to the same move. This time Fox stays right with him and forces the miss. And despite a low scoring night, Fox still found ways to be effective on the offensive end. At the end of the first quarter here, you can see him scanning the floor and looking for potential matchups that he likes. He sees Duncan Robinson guarding Malik Monk, so he signals for Malik to come set a screen and try to get the switch. Malik goes to the screen and the Heat do in fact switch. There's simply no way Robinson is going to prevent Fox from getting downhill. His control and feel for the game right now is elite. Watch Hero turn his head and lose sight of Fox, and just how quickly De'Aaron recognizes this and explodes to the basket. I love the patience he shows here in the pick and roll. He hesitates and changes speeds to confuse Martin, then waits until he fully engages the dropping Haslam to deliver this dime to Zabonis. And when the Kings were struggling to get good looks versus Miami zone late in the game, it was De'Aaron who helped to break it. This step up screen from Rashawn Holmes draws both of the zone's front defenders. This sets up the skip pass to Barnes and gives him a window to attack. And then the next possession, Rashawn is in the sweet spot, in the middle of the zone. Fox delivers the bounce pass that splits the front defenders so Rashawn can go to his favorite push shot, though he can't get it to fall. And of course there's things that Fox can do that you just can't teach. 15 here in the fourth. Here he is guarding Fox. Spin cycle. Left him in the dust. This is light work for De'Aaron Fox. You asked me earlier. 
so even though the numbers may not necessarily reflect it, this is the exact kind of game that you want out of Fox going forward. The scoring and offensive output is going to be there most nights, but if he can impact the game in other ways on any given night, that's what will make him an all-star. Thank you guys for sticking around and helping support the channel. It really means a lot and I appreciate all the feedback that you guys give. But that's going to be it for now and see you next time.